Welcome everyone. We are now going to expand upon the herbals, which I've uh, posted several videos right now. Um, I'm going to, well, the, there's going to be a complete course on this. Let me pop this back in its holder here. Uh, well, there's going to be several courses, uh, a big course on this, which is really critical. Everybody should get the course and follow through with it. It is something you need to save your life and others. Uh, health is the number one issue. Money has no value if you're sick, and if you're dead, it's hard to spend the dough. So the whole idea is that, um, and of course, costs are factors. Buying lots of supplements, which I've done all my life because I've never been that well, uh, costs a fortune, and particularly now, as supplements from vitamins and minerals have shot through the roof in cost, and herbals uh, that are prepared as well. So tablets, capsules, etc. cost you a fortune, you're getting very little. And secondly, it ain't enough to do the job. I've taken herbs and gotten mediocre results from most of them until I started making my own tinctures, and then I got fantastic results. Now, what I showed you before was the miracle preparation, which is kind of unique, has a lot of combinations and everything else. And you can kind of see them uh, over here uh, is um, the ones I made that is uh, still uh, being kept here. Um, I talked about this in the last. I showed you a bottle of this stuff. Well, this is an equivalent probably to 10 bottles, and it cost me probably 10% of what it, that actual one bottle cost. So... The the, uh, the the chant uh, Pizra, which comes from, I believe this comes from Peru or something, this is what it looks like. And this is not powdered, but it's chopped. And that's good enough. You don't want to uh, have something that is whole because it's too hard to extract. And that's what this process is. It's an extraction process. So you get all this for a low price. This can clean out your, which everybody should be taking, your kidneys, your liver, etc. Pandemic problems there. Uh, there are solutions. And unfortunately, you're not going to get that from your doctor who's just going to treat your symptoms. And I'm not sure. Usually, there aren't even medications for anything. And these medications tend to be very toxic, while these tend not to be. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make a simple, a simple tincture in the future. But uh, here are simple tinctures. Now, here's bitter gourd. This is for uh, uh, blood sugar problems. So... What did I do? How did you make this? Now, these bottles, this is just, these bottles all come from vodka. And this is not drinking it. This is the vodka I use to make all these tinctures now. Now, I tend to use uh, whiskeys or other things, but vodka is one of your cheapest and easiest ways to go. There's no better. It's nice to have a little bit of whiskey in certain uh, formulas because you're getting a certain tree energy there. But in general, vodka is neutral, cheap, and good. So these, this is actually a vodka bottle. Now what I've done is these had metal screw tops on them. You can see how there's a screw top here. Um, well, you don't want those metal rusts. It's a problem. Uh, so you want to get rid of those. Uh, it's probably aluminum or God knows what's in there. And I just bought regular cork things here. Yes, it's plastic on top, but none of this is coming in contact with liquid, so you're okay. You have natural cork underneath, and that's what you do to it. Very inexpensive to do as well. So... Um, you get rid of the metal tops. Um, and of course, you, you're using the vodka that was in here to pour it into your other mixtures here. I could show it over here in the back. Um, of course, as I said, I used whiskey there, but it's the same thing. You could save the whiskey bottle, etc. Now, the tops here vary. So this is kind of like a, a wine bottle top. So whiskey bottles are, th are bigger, so you need different types of corks. But uh, you'll find that out depending on the bottles you use. But it just shows you how cheap it can be. You're using the bottles that you normally would. Um, these open type uh, mixture things that I showed you are ideal for the bigger preparations. Uh, but, you know, uh, this I just poured in here. You use a funnel, you get the bag of it, and I just poured it in there and pushed it down in there and it works fine. You need to get good funnels. Uh, metal funnels don't use plastic. Period. Get out of the use of that toxic garbage from hell. Okay, so uh, let's go over this again. What, what I did is I just got this herb. That's what this is here. I poured it in the bottle. It probably went up to about here, the herb. Okay? That's all you need. 
pretty much this amount, which is about an inch, inch and a half, or up to two inches of the herb. The rest of it should be open because there's that expansion problem. Um, because you're going to, uh, the herb is going to expand and you're not going to have that much liquid left in there. And that's not good because you want the liquid. But the stronger, uh, the, the more herbs you use, the stronger it is, obviously. So you don't want to put a teeny bit in here so you have lots of tinctures. Well, that's what they do in the store. And that's what you pay $25 for, for a little bottle of stuff that isn't potent enough. So you want a good amount of stuff here. So if it's up to here... Uh, to here, this will expand up to here, and that's good. That means from here all the way up, you're going to fill that up with alcohol. Um, again, uh, you can either, any uh, alcohol will do. Vodka is the cheapest. Uh, most people don't mind the flavor. It's neutral. You can, as I said, you can buy big gallon jugs of that uh, inexpensively at places like Costco. Um, now, those bottles are generally plastic, so you're going to have to get rid of them. So, and it's always good to look for things that are in glass if you can. So even if you pay a little more for vodka and it's in glass, you should do it within reason. Uh, because uh, that's been sitting in plastic, so you're going to be carrying that plastic uh, toxins with you into your formulas, and you should try and avoid that. So buy things in glass when all possible. Never, ever store anything in uh, plastic, even metal or anything else. It's all bad. You want to be in glass. It's cheap. It's inert. It's perfect. And that includes the, the ceiling tops. The ceiling tops need to be um, uh, a neutral, um, or I should say they should be natural. You should be using natural cork. Uh, you don't want liquids to come in contact with metal or plastic or anything else. This is all the stuff you want to avoid. Uh, so do keep uh, that in mind. And there are no good plastics, period. Oh, don't have dish in it. It don't have that. Yeah, it's still plastic. All plastic is. So, And everything is plastic, and don't let anybody tell you anything different. Use a natural cork, and you're fine. So those last pretty long. When they don't, you throw them away and get another one. They're still inexpensive. So that's all you do. This was about up to here. I then uh, filled the rest of this up with a vodka and um, the usual thing. I haven't shook these in a while, but this is what it looks like. This has been sitting on the shelf here. I probably haven't shook this for a couple of weeks. You can see I have it labeled. This is goes all the way back uh, to 2018. Now, once things are filled like this, and they all will look like this. You'll see here's uh, another one. You can't. Okay, we can see this a little bit. Um, they all look like this because the settling. Now, this liquid is not coming in contact to extract enough that way. So you have to, that's why you shake it. Generally, what you do is you put it upside down and then you spin it clockwise. Now, that you're supposed to do a couple of times a week. You can really do it as often as you want. Now the alcohol is mixing and ex the extraction process is stronger because it's coming in contact with all this and it's not just sitting up here. And you can see the same thing here. Now this is ginkgo, which is good for everybody. And as you get older, it seems like your memory isn't as good. Certainly mine ain't as good, even though uh, at one time this was really helping my memory. Now it doesn't seem to do as much. But it's the same old story. Um... You can, you can make as strong as an extraction as you want, meaning how much herbs you put in here. You can see I filled this up to about here, and it took in about another inch, inch or so. So this is what's left for your extraction, which means you have a very powerful mixture. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, these are not things you generally take large amounts of. Now, the miracle stuff that uh, we have over here, of course, you're going to be using, and lots of people are, and you generally tend to use uh, a, more of it than something like this. So something like this, which is a kick ass this is equivalent probably to 50 regular tinctures that you would get in uh, the store. That's how potent it is. And it costs about 10% of what those 50 tinctures would cost, even if that much. But here you go again, you see how it separates. That's normal. It's kind of like peanut butter. You got to stir it. So what you do here again is you turn it upside down, you shake it, you sp spin it clockwise. Make sure it's all blended good. Now you got this again. So now the extraction process, and you can see I made a mistake on here. There's no date on here. 
That's not a good idea, so I don't know how old this is, but I do know because it's at least a year or so old, but you should have that on there. But what I also did, and you can see I did it here, is I just cut the label off of the package I got it in. You know, I usually use label machines. I did the same thing here. But, you know, the tapes and label machines are not inexpensive. Why waste a label? Just cut it off and tape it on there. And uh, as you can see, I added a sticky note here. And this is even a better way to do it. Uh, 10, 12, 17. You can see that this in itself, how old it is. Uh, but it's perfectly sealed in this bottle. It will stay fresh virtually forever. And I've written all the information there so you don't need to get yourself a label machine. Um, so there's always ways. Now this is um, Gemena, Gemma, Gemma, um extract powder. So this was actually a powder, and I'm making it into a uh, extracted uh, tincture. And uh, you can see at the top here, this is a very black stuff. And again, this is for a uh, sugar. Uh, this actually means, in uh, I guess it's Hindi, it means uh, no sugar. And let me see, what's the date on here? Boy, these puppies are a little bit old. Um, 2017. So this has really been cooking. And generally that's good. I've also put a little note here that says crystal. That means there's a, I've dropped a crystal in here. Some of these have crystals. Some of them don't, especially since they're older. In general, you should put crystals and tachyons in everything. It gives you a momentous boost. Uh, when you do that, you get kick-ass results. When you don't, uh, sometimes you don't. But these are very pure. And again, this was, um, let me see, you can't tell where the liquid, uh, can we here? Let's see if we can tell a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see that. Here we go. You can see how the uh, actual herb, you can, I guess you can see it here a little bit. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But the herb goes up to here. This is expensive herb. It's very potent, so uh, we put that amount in there. And then, again, you don't have to fill up the entire bottle. If you want to, you can. If not, you can fill it up and make it as strong as you want it. And again, you're going to be taking drops of these things, teaspoons, etc. So we're in the same situation with this. I wrote on there. Now we're going to spin this. You put it upside down. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And then you're spinning it clockwise. And now you're getting a good mix again. This is very fine powder, and you can see how powder helps because how easily that mixed. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that. Hear that? That's the actual crystal I have in there. Um, so there's a crystals. Usually when I put crystal there, it also means tachyon um, uh, to go into this. So all of that can be done. Uh, as part of the process, um, I generally have pyramids on top of these things. These pyramids, which we sell, I usually balance these uh, where I store them. So you have a, oops, you have a balanced pyramid on top there. And I do this to all my pyramids. And these are available and they're inexpensive uh, to make sure you get a little extra pyramid power in there. All these subtle energies are critical. We're in a horrible, toxified time with the dying earth. You need every bit of energy you can get to survive. These things are not expensive. It's just doing things right. Stop getting that Starbucks coffee or cut out a little something else. Get a few tools. And these things last forever. Now, these are plastic. It doesn't hurt anything. It's not coming in contact with food. You're not licking it. You're not handling it all that much. Don't worry about it. So these things you get very expensively. They're a couple of bucks each, and they're very nice. And these things are hard to find. And, of course, you have one on each. And I do even put them on my raw herbs uh, as well. So there's always pyramids on things. They're generally on some sort of plate. Um, and that's how it works here. Now, um, and it's just as simple as that. Put the herb in there. Pour the alcohol on there. You're done. As I said, they have to sit for at least 90 days before you use them. Um, and then you take a little bit out and you leave it in there. Let it age longer. And a lot of times you can add liquids in there to degree. You don't want to add too much liquids. And then you're getting a watery down uh, formula like you're going to buy in the store. That ain't going to work. These stuff, when you do it yourself, are inexpensive. So let's also show you these. Here's the miracle stuff that we had worked on. Um... You can see how it has a 
separated as it should. Here's all the stuff. You can see it's sucked in. Uh, the actual liquid has been sucked in quite a bit by here. This is really expanded. I think we're up to here. Now it's almost doubled. And of course you see how it's separating. This means you have to shake it again, stir it. So again, you turn it upside down. I'm still getting used to this phone camera. And you should see at the bottom there, there is nothing sticking. Okay, that means that there's nothing. So a lot of times you're going to get herbs that are um, sticking to the bottom, etc. But you're going to make sure that's why you're trying to do it. You then spin it clockwise. Go back and forth. You're mixing it. Now you could at this time too, think of uh, visualizing your mind, great white energy going in there, healing energy. Say to it, you're going to be a fantastic healer for my family myself. This is going to cure me of everything. So you're putting these psychic energies into it. Now we know that water, and of course alcohol is majority of it is water, holds energy. It holds thought forms. So don't underestimate this. This is a process when you're making your own that you can do. You don't have to meditate, dude, and smoke is a doobie, and then, you know, I gotta be in the rain. You just do it and say it. It's instantaneous. It should be part of your life. You should be a manifesting scientist. This is what you do. And everything you do is part of this new reality. The new reality that rejects the failed society that we live in. Start making a successful society starting with you. You don't need other people's herbs. You don't need other people's crap bottles of stuff uh, and fake garbage that they make outrageous profits on the death and dying of others. You don't need that. Make your own. So, this is how you do it. You shake it clockwise. Oh, you're done. Oh, that was hot, though. I gotta go take a nap. So, simple as that, you're done. Do the little things. Make sure you're using some sort of the plate, the white plates that we have. Make sure you're using pyramids. Make sure you've got your tachyons. Make sure you're putting crystals in there. Now, we provide all this stuff out there. Um, uh, if you can't find things yourselves, but having these little things, which are good forever. I mean, you're going to leave these crystals and tachyons in these bottles forever. And when you make a new one, you're going to put them in there. So it's not something you're buying all the time. I mean, once you get the system down, the only thing you're buying consistently, and I'm not even sure consistently, I mean, after all, this has been sitting in here for five years now. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get some more herbs, though. It's costing me a lot of money. So that herbs over five years is not even countable in terms of cost. So the point is, it's cost you virtually nothing. But eventually, and depending on how much you use something, you're going to have to replace the herbs. And again, you want to buy high-quality organics whenever possible because the cost is little. The only other cost is the alcohol. But remember, you're not drinking this like it's a cocktail. You're taking teaspoons, tablespoons, drops uh, of these things at intervals. So a bottle like this, even as small as this, even as small as this amount, it gonna, if you use it on a consistent basis, it's going to last you a long time. And then you're going to make other ones. But as I said, in the future, I'm going to show you how I take this raw formula and make a mini tincture out of it. So watch for that in the future. Everyone can do this. I didn't do this for years. We're all lazy. We want to. But, you know, the problem is, is that once you start buying tinctures in your stores, they're anywhere from about 18 bucks up to about 50 bucks. This gets expensive. If you want to take decent quantities of things, it's going to cost you a fortune. But that's not even the worst part of it. Their potency is piss. Make your own, solve your problems, and move on.